metropolis. It's the little things that really change a city's vibe. The weather, gentrification, the alien invasion. Task Force X, stop sightseeing and see if you can kill everything in sight. Got it? Hate to say it, but Waller's right. We got work to do. How did you three get split off this time? Hey! Wasn't my fault we got lost! Ah, uh, this time? We should convene at the Daily Planet. It is a very central location. Still playing tour guide, Sharky. Love that. <gasps> Come on, y'all, focus! We're game seven, last quarter out here. I do not know what this means. It seems like it would be very high pressure and stressful. Yeah. You lost me there too, Floydy. Oh, aren't you supposed to be a Yank, Carls? Even I got the reference. <sighs> Just don't get yourselves killed doing something basic. Well, you know Boomer. He's always basic. Oi! Wait! You're basic! See what I mean? Gotta cool the jet. Just gotta do what I do best and land these shots. I ain't letting a little shield stop me. Just gotta use my jetpack to get around. up the guns, slow breath, and... Clean. Okay, I got this, I, I got it. Just can't panic. Airborne, afterburner, breathe, kickstart. Easy. Yeah, no, it's definitely easy. Got me some tangos right here. Have to be about accuracy, just efficiency.
I thought we were meeting up. Shark? Shark, you gotta be nearby. I am in a tunnel. It only has two exits despite its length, which seems highly inadvisable. Human architecture is fascinating. would not be the same, Floyd Lawton. I would never ask you to simply look upon renderings of Atlantis. It must be experienced. I'd kind of prefer pictures, actually. Oh, -ho! new dead shot phobia. Nah, that ain't a phobia. and mass in destructive concert. If only there were enemies here. That would be a splash. <laughs> oh, who's been teaching shark puns again? Maneuvering through the air has its advantages. Less land-dweller refuse. Much less. less resistance than water as well. Excellent. I hungered for more enemies. Control the flow from within their ranks. Sacrifices are greatly appreciated. I wanted some extra exercise. Hey, Shocky, you want some real architecture? I'll show you all the top brooding and cackling spots in Gotham. Oh, I already have a list. I would love a true Gothamite's perspective. Quinn's got point on this one. Not many scenic views in my line of work. Can't get spotted. Floyd, mate, you ever take a vacation that wasn't work?
Greetings, Deadshot. Where are Harley and Boomerang? Not with you. That's the problem. Boomer, check in. I've got. Injured despite your supposedly harrowing battles. Did you not see Harley? Uh, no, I didn't see her through all the uh, bodies. Hey, House, where'd you disappear to? Ain't got yourself beat up, have ya? <laughs> Dead shots, all. You ain't got no self preservation, Quinn. <laughs> Or... alive. <laughs> Anywho, I'll be there in a Gotham minute. Are you puppeting the dead goons again? <laughs> that shit is creepy. Yeah, a little bit. But it's a balm on my soul in these trying times. Could be worse. I could be like Boomer. Boy, what's that supposed to mean? There is speculation that you may not bathe, but merely cleanse your weaponry. Mate, where my boomerangs go, I go. Including the showers, uh, the dunny, everything. Yeah, you're really not helping your case here. This is hell. I've died, and this is what my hell looks like. Whether it's makeup or hurtling at the ground, you gotta trust the process! <laughs> Woo, is this a surprise party? Is that why you're hiding? Well, I got some surprises of my own.
conservation of momentum, honey. I do love a convenient point to hurl my body into the unknown. Gymnast finals. Swing, release, wait for back drone, swing again, stick the landing. Ah, actually stuck the landing. Not like the junior gymnast finals. Didn't stick that. Been going. So now that we're finally all here, we can get oh, down to. Almost forgot. There's a big honking group of baddies ready to descend on us like fresh meat at the buffet line. So, who's staying to play hero? Lawton said about timing my shots. Counting, countering. Ah, oh, wing it! Can't be that hard! shields modified no automatic recharge every second you spend hiding behind cover is wasting my time if you want to stay alive you'll have to fight for it that means harvesting shield charge from enemies in close combat
Huh? The Daily Planet? But do I get updates from back home? No! Now this is an operation I could really do something with for my fan club, see? You can see the front page now. Big portrait of yours truly. Headline, oh, Captain! Our Captain! Then you got the Sudoku and crosswords in convenient spots for once. Comics, new ones on page two. Oh, be the best edition they've ever seen. Hey, Waller. Skullship's honked off at us. Over. All of you, move to the objective. The Promethean shield is up, but it won't last forever. <sighs> Reminds me of a Sunday morning back home. Yes, the nostalgia of an active war zone. During the Hammerhead conflicts of my youth... No, no, focus, people. Those shark fights do sound pretty cool, though, big man. Move to the engagement zone, Task Force X. Damn, might have overdone the speeding. All right, weapons free. Take out as many of them as you can before I pull you out.
guy with a boomerang! My name is Amanda Waller. I am the director of Argus, a division of Homeland Security you've never even heard of. But we've heard of you. And I'm here to make you an offer. You're tenacious as junkyard dogs. Desperate. Hungry. You know how to survive. Now that might make you the kings and queens of Arkham, but outside these walls, the world's forgotten about you. And you're going to spend the rest of your lives picking maggots out of prison meatloaf. I could change that. I could be your way out. A chance to do some good. And if- Hey, Holly Quinn, Arkham Gazette. Just a quick question. What's with the frickin' shark? I uh, would be happy to introduce myself. That won't be necessary, King Shark. This is a microbomb injector from our friends at LexCorp. Stick it in your target's neck, and it's good night. You want this to be where you take your last breath? No? Then help me. I only need one of you. As for the other three, you are dead already. So, show me what you got. So. Sorry. So, makes sense Waller would want the world's deadliest assassin in her pocket. <laughs> I don't know what she wants the rest of you for. Knowing Amanda Waller, it is nothing good. In my experience. What the heck is your experience? And what's a fish doing in Arkham? You got mental health issues, Shark. Generalized anxiety. But I was brought here from my home. The ocean? Bell Rev Penitentiary. Can you all focus for one damn minute. This is clearly a trap. Any of us touch that thing, none of us is getting out of here. Ah, the prisoner's dilemma. What's the bloody dilemma? This prisoner wants out. Come on, Captain. You just got here. I've been inside five freaking years. Feels like I've been stuck in this conversation for five years. Can we please? Oh, so sorry, Deadshot. Are we interrupting your being strapped to a gurney? Isn't Deadshot supposed to be white? Aren't you supposed to be shutting your damn mouth? Kangaroo looking ass. Because you are Australian. Okay, so are we gonna do the murder each other thing or what? Cause I'll be straight with you. I'd kill anyone to get out of here. I'd kill you. I'd kill myself. Nobody's killing anybody. If no one goes for the bomb, Waller comes back in here, see she's not dealing with four screw-up psychos. We all get out. So then we do nothing. Excellent. I have grown quite skilled at... <laughs> Enjoy your nothing, idiots. Maybe you should have spent less time in brain class and more time learning how to pick locks.
because it looks like Captain Boomerang! <laughs> Welcome back. Who wins? No one. There are bombs in our heads. Uh, we are all losers. The shark's right. She played you all. You played yourselves. Welcome to Task Force X. <laughs> Planning on picking up a bunch of liabilities in Arkham. Ah! Oh, God, there's something in my ear. Do one of you bastards inject something in my ear? In ear CIC comes. Bet we can hear your bullshit wherever we go now. You guys are making a girl miss solitary. Still, sure is nice to be out of Arkham. Thanks, douchebags. Well, we could have started a riot like normal people, but no! Everyone's a backstabber! It was a test. A mind game. I do not know if we passed or failed. Well, four exploding heads are better than one. Where are we going, and who are we killing? They geared us up to take on an army. Why? Is that big dropkick driving the flame and train? I am not. I have never traveled by train before. Ah, oh, brilliant! You jinxed it! This ride's like the Aussie. It's old and it stinks! Joke's on you, love. I'm not that old. Sharkman, pull that brake lever. Big man. What is it? Can you feel that? Feel what? Is, is this a trick? <sighs> Old school. Guess Miss Off the Books got something to tell us. Or she made us a mixtape. Uh. 
Congratulations, Task Force S. If you're hearing this, at least one of you made it to the area of operations alive. No thanks to the shark. Silence, Australian. Comms don't function that deep underground, so this tape will have to suffice. Here are your objectives. Here we go. Each of you has a C4 charge in your equipment. Use all of them to detonate the old station schedule wall. Go through. Get to the roof of the building you find. Establish comms with me. Way to micromanage, lady. Task Force X. These are your orders. Ignore them, split up, or piss me off in any way, and I pull the trigger on the micro bombs you so helpfully implanted in one another's skulls. If you survive, we'll speak again. Waller out. I think I did that right. Watch out for the explosion! Three, two, one! This is some hard work stuff right here. When in doubt, shoot something, I say. Let's hit that junction box and see if we can get through this door. the League has been on, and the bad guys we've defeated. All of us in the Justice League believe that part of being a hero isn't just remembering the good stuff, but the bad stuff too. That's what makes us stronger. That's what really makes a hero. Oh, even his flaming hologram smug. Hey, man, watch the... Ah, shit! Glass. I'm okay. What the hell you got there? Thought this baby was a myth. Speed Force Gauntlet. Back when Doc Savannah tried to lift Flash's gimmick. <sighs> myth, you red. the Riddler's hat of invisibility! Where'd the shark go? Children. Ooh, nothing says international assassin like a frickin' jetpack. Shit, I'd break my damn neck. You're probably right. Jetpacks seem more like a death drug thing anyway.
mine. That, uh, hat's not gonna get you vertical, Shark. I can make my own way up. Well, tickle me stupid. Shark can fly! Or I. New toys, lighter guns. Let's get up on that roof and get our freedom back. Mm, let's try this stuff out. I, I was saw born myself Bruce as a gadget Wayne, girl, but citizen of Gotham. Metropolis, yada yada. I'm too young in age. I lost my parents to the city's greatest enemy, crime. From that day forward, I swore I would dedicate my life to defeating those who would prey on the heart and the spirit of Gotham. So I became a symbol. Something even evil would fear. I became vengeance. I became the knight. I became Batman. Of course, I'd have to rely on more than just my wits. I'd have to work hard. Train every day to fight against crime. I'd have to design high-tech tools, equipment, and the most advanced vehicles you've ever seen. Before, I had allies, but I thought I had to push them away to protect them. Now, as part of the Justice League, I'm grateful for my companions. Because together, we are stronger than we are alone. <laughs> far, far away from here, there's a planet called Oa, home to the Guardians. The Guardians are really old. Tiny, blue, and super smart. Maybe smarter than Batman. <laughs> the Guardians created these rings. They're powerful, even a little dangerous. But if a ring chooses you, you can use it to make anything you imagine. Green Lanterns like me are peacekeepers. The Guardians picked us from all over the universe. Well, I come from here on Earth. Used to be a Marine, but in the Lantern Corps, I'm more of an intergalactic policeman. A Green Lantern uses their ring to help people when they can, and stop the bad guys when they have to. I'm the Green Lantern of Sector 2814, and I'm proud to defend this planet alongside my friends in the Justice League. I made my power ring look a little bigger for you, because you know what? It might be the strongest gadget in the whole Hall of Justice. Now, I'm not talking as strong as Superman, but my imagination is my superpower. Using my power ring, I can create all sorts of neat stuff to help me save the day. Once upon a time, I was an architect. Making my constructs is kind of the same thing, except they get built a lot faster. Let's hit the roof like Mean Lady said. It's a love of rooftops and butterfly knives. Despite what Flash may have told you, my cowls aren't just a fancy Halloween mask. They're equipped with augmented vision lenses, so I never miss a clue. And a comm link that lets me talk to my friends in the Justice League. Before I joined the League, I relied on these cowls to keep my identity top secret. Each one is lined with lead, so no one can peek under them. Not even Superman. I hate this. I hate this. Don't worry. I'm sure they got fire extinguishers. My armor was forged by Themyscira's finest artisans to endure all sorts of danger. It's an ancestral relic, passed down from one generation to the next. Looks pretty tough, right? <laughs> well, it is. 
Man, machine, or monster? Nothing. And I mean nothing beats Amazonian craftsmanship. Hey there. I'm Superman, and I'm so glad you're visiting the Hall of Justice. I come here every day to meet with my very best friends, the Justice League. Say, now that you're here, I think that makes us pals too. Wonder Woman thought it would be a good idea to open our doors and introduce ourselves. First off, I'm not from Metropolis. I'm not even from Earth. When I was even younger than you, my world was dying. So my mom and dad sent me to a beautiful blue planet far away. Some really nice people raised me, even though I came from another world. Even though I was different. I love this world. My friends. And yes, even Batman. Let's make a promise, everyone. We'll always try to help. Always give people a chance, no matter who they are or where they're from. And we'll always watch out for one another. Through these doors lies the inner sanctum of the Justice League. Sounds very grand, doesn't it? And it is. The Inner Sanctum is where we all first agreed to form the League. And since that day, it's become the nerve center of the League, where we plan for battle against forces too great for any one of us to face alone. Sorry, we can't allow visitors to the Sanctum. But if you dedicate yourself to good, to being a champion of peace and protecting others no matter what, you can join the Justice League. ...and join us inside. When you clowns are done messing around with gadgets... ...we ought to hit the roof and get Waller on the line. I got no problem making a way. She can blow up our heads. Well, we'd better get going! I love this! I'm never gonna not do this! Careful with that thing. Can't hear you over how freaking sick I look, boy. So, anyone gonna with our combined strength, we may. One-way ticket written all over it. Walla! 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 Ah, oh, wrong. Oi, Walla! What the hell have you sent us into? It's a bloody war zone out here. There's a giant skull in the sky. Congratulations, Task Force X. You're the first assets to make it into Metropolis alive. We're sending a signal transponder to your location. Your orders are to activate that transponder. Waller out. Give me one reason why we should go out into that shit show. The bombs, dumbass. Morbid curiosity. Ah. Waller is not offering us a choice. I'm ready to jump off the roof now. <laughs> 